demo, I'll be showing data from a humidity and temperature sensor. I've got one installed in a holiday house, which isn't always occupied, and particularly during winter time, I want to know what the temperature is and whether to turn on heating. In this particular device, when there is a change in temperature or humidity status, it connects via Wi-Fi to a cloud service, and using a script, I regularly collect the data from this cloud service and I send it to a log scale system. Let me show you what the end result can look like. And I'll then briefly explain how I'm getting the data into log scale and how the data can be analyzed in log scale. So here you can see some fairly basic information. Uh, we can see the current temperature. We can see the humidity. Uh, and just to show off log scale, I've also got the same information as what we call a time chart and as a heat map. I can see the temperature range, what has been uh, obviously the difference between the max and the minimum temperature in the chosen time period, which we can see here is one day. And the same we can see here in actual values, the maximum temperature, the minimum temperature. It's also important for me as this device runs on uh, batteries to know how much power is left in the sensor. And just because I can, I've also shown approximately where in the world this particular sensor is located. One of the uh, interesting things you can do with log scale is you can specify what uh, time period you want to view data for. So I could, for example, go back 30 days in time. And now 30 days ago, there was actually somebody in the house and therefore the temperature was something much more sensible than what it currently is. So how am I getting the data in? This is a uh, script that I run on a Unix computer. It runs uh, automatically every 15 minutes. And it makes use of a command known as curl. Curl sort of acts a bit like a command line browser. I can send data with this command to a web service and I can get data from, the se from a web service. And in this case, I'm sending to this service um, an ID and an authentication key, and that provides me with the data from the device that I have. And then using this pipe character, I'm then using the same command again, but now to send the data to a log scale system um, in a particular format. Um, which is inferred by this API uh, endpoint here. And as you saw, once the data has been ingested, then it can be visualized in different ways. Let me show you what the uh, raw data looks like, uh, which is actually not that raw. Uh, the data comes in in JSON format. Right now here I'm showing one particular event and we can see all these different uh, JSON uh, keys or fields and their values. And what is obviously important to me is the temperature in Celsius and the uh, battery value. And if I scroll down, I've also got the humidity value here. Without looking at a, a specific event, this is what it looks like. And I've got a couple of options here in terms of what I can do with this data. So if I were to create the visualizations that you just saw uh, from scratch, I could choose this particular uh, field here, the uh, temperature in Celsius. And I can click on that and I can choose that I want to see a time chart of the value. Uh, so clicking on this, generates a visualization similar to what you saw before. I've got the option to, by clicking on this paintbrush here to modify things about how this visualization should look. Um, and once the visualization looks uh, as I want it, 
I can then save it to, uh, as a dashboard widget to a dashboard. And the, what, what you just saw me do, that is basically how I created the different visualizations. Now, visualizations are great for when you know what you're looking for or when you found the kind of uh, data that you want to visualize and you want to make it easily available to somebody else or to yourself because you regularly want to uh, look at that data. But you can also do analysis on the fly of this data. And um, one of the things you could see, let's see, which should be a good and interesting item, I showed the how I could visualize the uh, temperature. I could also look for a particular number um, and maybe look for only when this particular value has appeared in my data set. Um, I can group the different um, values that is seen in the data. Uh, I can filter on certain uh, data. So what might be interesting is if I, I'll just start this because this will be an easy way to, to get started. What I could probably really want, what I might re actually really want to do is specify that if the temperature is uh, less than five degrees, I want to know about it. Uh, now we saw that that is not the case. It has been the case, um, but I could specify that I only want to see the last value, where uh, the, the last value. Uh, so now I'm checking the last uh, value. And um, well, it, it is, the temperature is in fact below uh, four degrees. So this uh, particular query I could now save as an alert and I could be notified automatically via email or via some other uh, automated mechanism or maybe uh, Logscale, Logscale could even be set to uh, start a particular action uh, based on the fact that this value is below five and start a heating system in the, uh, in the house for example. This concludes my short demo of what can be done in log scale with data from IoT devices.